Okay, welcome back everybody to my uh, Skyrim videos. Um, quite a few changes have happened since my last video. Unfortunately, over the weekend whilst I was playing, I ran into a lot of issues where the game began to crash and got to the stage where it wouldn't even open. Basically, it all started when I went tried to go into Windhelm. The game just crashed every time I entered the city. So I began trying to remove some mods and stuff which I thought might be causing the crash. And of course that just makes the whole thing a heck of a lot worse. So I ended up completely messing up my Skyrim installation by removing mods. So I ended up having to do a complete reinstall, delete everything, reinstall all my mods. Not all my mods, I've decided to leave out a lot of the graphic mods purely to try and help performance somewhat. So yes, obviously white run, very vanilla looking now compared to how it has been. In my previous videos, I'm also no longer playing as a Khajiit. I've decided to play as a. I think he's an Imperial. Um, but basically, I've called him Logan. And I've made him look a little bit like Wolverine from the X Men. And there is a little mod that I want to get. Oh, there is a mod that I have installed that I want to make use of soon. If I just head over to the Skyforge, I can show you this quickly. I mean, I pretty much added all the other mods I used. I haven't got Skyre anymore. I'm just using the vanilla perk system. So, what I want to craft. located down here somewhere Wolverine claws I can make myself a set of nice claws the problem is as you can see I need quite a few ingredients I need some silver ingots some refined moonstone some moon sugar void salts fire salts and I still need a daedra heart which I haven't got yet when I get them, I can inject a little bit of adamantium into my body and I can get retractable claws, which I can use, then use in combat. Now again, similar to my Khajiit, I haven't really done too much of the main quest line. In fact, after creating the character, I ran a batch file just to set his um, skills and levels to what my Kiji characters were so I don't have to start going through the whole painful process of leveling up all the way through. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard, vampire hunters or something. Sorry, the old fort yawning. I didn't have to um, joining up myself. Uh, level up all the way through to 1 to 4, you know, 1 to 40 again. Level 39 nearly caught up with where I was. What's all the job, Charlie? What is it that you need? Yes, my youngest son. He's a dark child. I don't know what to do with him. He was always a quiet lad. But lately, something has changed. He's become brooding, violent. He won't say a word to me, but I don't know how I upset him. If you could speak to him, draw out the truth, I would be immensely grateful. The Whispering Door. I 
where is the child? He's outside by the looks of it. So yes, over the weekend I did quite a bit of streaming to my Twitch channel. So if anybody wants to um, have a look at those videos, you can just head on back there and check out my past broadcasts. I was trying to capture them a little bit differently to how I normally do them. Carlos, the unassailable. To you, we give praise. We are... The only grown-ups who talk to me are the kind I don't want talking to me. So, the disgusting pig sent you to bother me. One day, I'll tear his face apart so he can leave me alone. <laughs> My father doesn't know anything about me. But I know about him, and about the war. More than he might think. I know that he still worships Talos. That he hates the Thalmor almost as much as the Stormcloaks do. That he worries about being chased from White Room. That he... That I'm... That I don't have the same mother as my brother and sister. The castle is old. Lots of places nobody's been in a long while. Places where you can overhear things. See things. And the whispering lady. She won't tell me her name. I've gotten good at listening to keyholes. At the door in the basement, I hear her talking to me. I thought I was caught. But she started telling me even more secrets. But I can't open the door. In the basement. Trust me, you'll see it. I bet she'll talk to you too. Bye. <clears throat> My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Go on. Did you slip out again last night for a drink at the Banner's Mare? Yes, I Okay, so let's go and have a listen to the whispering door. At last, I've been waiting for someone more fit to carry out my will. The child is spirited, but lacks agency. Regrettably, I cannot reach your plane so directly. But I forgive you for not knowing who I am. Few hear my whispers anymore. I am Mephala, the Lady of Whisper. I tug at the web of connections between mortals. Love, hatred, loyalty, betrayal. The boy was good at sussing out secrets. You... I expect to take a more active role. First, you must open this door. I would like to, but I don't have a the key. A piece of my power has been locked away behind it. And even my eyes cannot see past the seals. I'd much rather it be in the hands of an ambitious and talented person, such as yourself. The whole of Whiterun is ripe with paranoia and tensions, 
The Jarl's court is right to fear the power I hold behind this door. I think I need to pickpocket the, the key Jarl off him though. The trusts few, and they will be his undoing. The dark child knows of what I speak. Let him guide your path. Where's the kid? Huh? Oh! Get out of the way, Lydia! It's the child. There he is. You. you. Kind of nice being in on a secret, isn't it? I told you, I know everything about the castle. For some reason, that door is special. Only two people can open it. Balgroove and Farangar, the court wizard. How you get it from them is up to you. Nobody would notice if Farangar went missing, I promise you. I'm not gonna kill Farangar. Maybe I can pickpocket him though. That was easy enough. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. So. Now I remember when I played this on the PS3, my game sadly glitched my first game save because I played it obviously from launch before it was patched so sadly some of the essential quest giving NPCs could get killed and Hulda who gave me this quest was one of the essential NPCs that died within about the first half an hour of my gameplay so I was a little bit annoyed. Excellent work. You know, 180 hours later when I came no. to do the Daedric quest. I trust you're sharp enough to, to see my, that the um, sword doesn't match the description of the ebony blade. My trophy for the acquired 15 Daedric artifacts. It has languished. And I couldn't start this quest because she was dead. Outside the winds of alliance I was very annoyed. and betrayal. So I tried to glitch to my way to into this room to retrieve glory, the sword. It must first drink the old hold the a silver platter up against seat. the wall and pass through it, sort of thing. And I was quite surprised when I came in here that the whispering lady was actually a floating chest on the door. Is a darling leech that feeds on deceptions and nourishes its master. Seek out those closest to you. The final pluck of their misguided heartstrings will accompany even my I got blade into the room here in the song of and retrieve the grandeur. sword. It didn't actually count. Because obviously I glitched it rather than doing it via the quest chain. So I ended up having to start a whole new save game on the PS3 just to go through and do the the Daedra missions again to get my platinum trophy. <laughs> yeah, here on PC, obviously, it's a lot easier if things go wrong. If you know your way around the console.
Keep your arrows in their quiver. I really probably should have bought um, Breeze home by now as well, so I've got to play at home. But I can do that again a little while later. Now, a couple of mods I am using this time round that I wasn't using in my previous game. I've got a couple now. I use the Skyrim Performance Monitor. So obviously on the left hand side of the screen there at the top you can see all the um, system stats. Take a good look around, I'm sure you'll it's a bit less it's a bit less intrusive than the, the one that was linked in with um, my capture software. I'm not stealing that book. Everything's for sale, my I'm friend. also using Everything. a Skyrim save Buy manager a as well, which Seller in a second. is a bit more reliable than the um, some may call the inbuilt junk. auto save. Me, I call them so it takes a number of saves incrementally. Anyone who's played Fallout games will know about the the Chasm mod, which does that. So again, it's quite useful. Start selling off some of these. Dawnbreaker! I've got my Dawnbreaker, that's good. I've now got my Ebony Blade. I am going to try and get all the Daedric weapons as well at some point. It will take me a while, no doubt. But that is my aim. After... I might be able to melt them down. Is what I'm thinking. Do come back. I still want my void salts and my fire salts, so I'm going to see if Arcadia has got any. Careful if you cross the river. Because I want my Wolverine claws. That's about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. What do you need, my friend? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Not got any. Come back any time if you need a remedy. Damn it, she's not got any. I'm gonna have to go and obviously explore and get some. I'm thinking of doing the. You're someone. Got Shrine of Azura yeah, quest. Plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Because most folk don't go hungry if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. If I do the Shrine That's of Azura, the I can get the Hearts. Hill. There's plenty in that quest. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker. Mead Hall of During the my live stream last night on Twitch. Their deeds of war so and valor I will be are heading there. legendary. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage?
Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I can smell down. These useless items I just picked up. Uh, what I will do though. Silver all that way. Ah, put it wrong again. I don't see any danger. Some good pieces, the finest weapons in armor. And there's a couple of things I do actually want to sell you while I think about it. Those. I think I'm going to hang on to those for the time being. They're not very heavy. And I reckon I'm going to put some enchants on those when I get a chance to do so. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. So I'm not worried about the shrouded armor um, for actual combat. I'm thinking more Oh, and if anybody's wondering why in the video my smithing has just leveled up to 106 there, um, I am using the um, Uncapper. Even though I'm not using Sky Re, I am using the Uncapper to uncap the skills. So again, I can level up my character to, you know, high player levels without having to level up every single individual skill you know I can just <laughs> keep leveling up the ones I use all the time and they'll keep giving me perks and keep giving me levels um, I'm not going to speak with the leader of the companions I'm going to go and visit the shrine of Azura which is the wind to hold. So I am going to travel then. I tend not to do a lot of fast travelling on the map now in this playthrough. If I you want know, to I saw travel something quickly in to, cave to the northeast. Some kind of creature. If I want to travel somewhere quickly, what I do now is go and get um, the carriages. Just use the carriages and pay the gold, you know realistic. I know I could download and install mods that turn off fast travel but 
Again, it's nice to have the option there sometimes if I need it. Nice to see all these guys are doing well. They keep normally getting attacked by death hounds. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Winterhold. Climb and back and we'll be off. Winterhold is where I'm going. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. Dragon, so he won't be too difficult to take down. Not like the ones I encountered. I turn so slowly. magic with this. I'm not too worried about this ordinary dragon from hurting me. Jeez, he's gonna level this town though. Yes, on my um, stream at the weekend I um, obviously started this the Dragon Lord quest line I've had done with my G. But I remember to configure the um, Deadly Dragons mod beforehand this time. And it certainly made a big difference to that fight. Where's he gone? Tark is on the ground wherever he is. Have your soul. Dead. But yes, I certainly found out, discovered that the Deadly Dragons mod certainly makes the Dragon Conflict a heck of a lot tougher. Heck of a lot. <laughs> And not only that, I've got the like the monsters mod as well. So I've, I've discovered like trolls and the creatures running around the, the wild. They're tougher as well. 
than they normally were in the vanilla Skyrim. Even the bandits and humans seem a little bit more challenging. So. Yeah. I've literally had my face kicked in so many times in this save. been to um, Riften yet to upset the Thieves Guild. these vampires where are these vampires coming from we need to wipe them out before things get worse we do quite right I suppose I could do the dawn guard um, DLC Yeah, but I've got to absorb health enchantment on this. Uh, I can probably walk up there. I'll give it a whirl in a minute. certain I can walk up this way. <laughs> Let's go. 
Scheiße. Okay, Lydia did a good job there, because I really wasn't in the combat spirit. I need to uh, light it then I and then in my little shelter getting warm Very important to stay warm. Very, very important. That's why I like, love this Frostfall mod. Carry on. We warmed up a bit. go if I want to get up there.
this isn't the right way. This isn't going to take me to the Shrine of Azura. Fairly confident of that. in a prisoner. Hold on, Lydia. I'm freezing again? Sit, boo boo. to the Shrine of Azura the last time I played this game. It's not to get covered in frost. Because I'm so cold. You there, uh, citizen. This area is off limits. You're interfering with imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. If you insist. Come on, boys. This'll be fun. You're mine. Die! No, no, don't. 
that. Ouch. Can't work out whether that was you that killed her or me. At least I'm not in combat anymore. What have we got on me? I'm freezing apparently. then. Let me try and go this way. Interesting. Yeah, my vision's a bit blurry because I'm cold. Don't think I'm going to make it to the Shrine of Observer in this video. I'm going to freeze to death. I need to build my campfire again. Long before I found myself under Ulfric's banner. This doesn't concern you, friend. Try to run now to keep warm. At least I'm getting warm. I'm starting to warm up. But sadly, I have not found a Zero Shrine in this video, in this playthrough. So I guess that's where I will continue to head 
in my next video which I will be hopefully recording and posting sometime quite soon I thank you all for watching and I will see you again next time bye for now